Lord marching now in the fields of Tresemme, where Mars did meet the Carthaginians, nor in the sporting dalliance of love, in the courts of kings where state is overturned, nor in the pomp of proud, audacious deed, intense, intense. Intends our muse to daunt his heavenly birds. Only this gentleman we must perform. In the form of. In the form of. You never got a clue what I'm talking about, do you? Oh. Okay, so what did you actually understand? <laughs> uh, I'll take that. Not a lot then, eh? Right. Is it please? Let's do this my way. I did tell them all this is electric stuff. Wait! inside my head. The boredom, the irritation, and the lack of intellectual stimulation. Is it too much to ask to have a purposeful discussion with someone who can even remotely keep up with you? and splutter, like some old car trying to turn over an overused engine, which has seen better day. Even then was lacking in grace and power. It's too easy to talk them down, to run them in circles, chasing the ideas and concepts placed before them, 
so very easily manipulated. Diagnosing the greatest problems in the world. Do you know I'm a doctor? Of course you do. And not once, but several times over. And a couple of those are actually in bed. Imagine that. There's a certain comfort for some people in medicine. A predictability. You live, you sit, you're diagnosed, you die. But if you you die from waiting, you'll end up in the same situation. But I don't want to be comfortable. So you have an illness. So there's an epidemic. The cure's out there. I've seen it. I've prescribed it. And if it's not, it's probably best to let Mother Nature do her thing. Bit of a cure up never harmed anyone? Well, not those of us still standing strong anyway. And then what? We pray for the loss of our comrades, our loved ones, the people we don't know, we heard about on the news. So why waste your time? We pray for God, who never talks back. Would we accept that from anyone else? Have you read the Bible? I can highly recommend it. It's a fantastic read, but they are stories. So read them to the children at night, as you kiss their foreheads and wish them sweet dreams. But don't be so ridiculous as to expect that a bunch of stories will protect them while they sleep. I'm yet to see anyone struck down by lightning for breaking one of the Ten Commandments. It would ease the pressure in our prisons now, wouldn't it? If I was God, the things I would do, if, which is where you find me now, on the brink of a new adventure, this is the first thing to excite me in a very long time. A book so small, so old, yet so very powerful. The promises I hear whispered among these pages are seductive, tempting, inspiring. Even the word itself sounds indulgent. Necromancy. I found my challenge, my purpose. Hope you're prepared for a new religion, a new faith. Because soon, you'll be kneeling at my feet. Praying to Faust. Wagner! <coughs> Sir, there is a Mr. Wesson at the door requesting a repeated prescription for his condition. That's that. So it would seem. Fine. The Pope has made a statement saying he is unhappy about your response to the Ebola crisis. For God's sake, I merely suggest. Would you like me to make a formal apology on your behalf? Do I look like I'm apologetic? No. No, sir. Sorry, sir. One last thing, due to the Scottish referendum and the potential of it happening again, I've transferred your assets to Hastings. Hastings? Not at all, I will not do it. Hastings? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's move them to, um, Plymouth. That's all, sir. I should think so. Now, call on Valdez and Cornelius. Invite them to drink. I need certain friends around me at this time. These men will serve the purpose. It's fine. Johnny Foy? You know, for somebody supposedly very intelligent, you really are acting like a complete... You are being an idiot. Put the book down, it'll bring you nothing but trouble. There is nothing in there that is going to bring you a happy ending. And whilst I'm not your fairy godmother and there'll be no characters and balls, I'd genuinely like to guide you to the end of your life relatively unscathed. <laughs> I mean... You don't really want to piss the big man off, do you? How do you think I ended up with this job? Is it normal? I should start seeing personifications of my conscience. Personifications? You're about to start messing with a whole pile of voodoo crap, and you're about the fact that you can see me. Are you still listening to this sniveling run of an angel? Come on, what harm can one book do? And it's such a little book. Right. Wondering when you were going to slither into it. After all, such a famous craft, built over years of study, only uses that which nature offers. And in this case, John, it's often the world. Be on earth as he is in heaven. Command the elements. 
Lead us all. Lead us. Lead us. Where have I heard that before? Oh, yeah! Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You remember that bit, yeah? Give him back the book. He doesn't need the book. You don't need the book. Nobody needs the book. You always be so don't childish. I'm not being a child, I'm protecting my assets. Your assets? Okay, asset. So pedantic. So pathetic. So sleazy. So irritating. Both of you be quiet! Give me the book. Go on. Give it to him. Give it to him. It does sound good. Too good to be true. To be God. Not really, though, because you already did, doesn't it? There'd be no limit to what it could achieve. Nothing and no one would have experienced anything like it. I'll take my place among the immortals. Well, like super. <laughs> I'll be feared and loved by all. Well, sweetheart, that's a little bit of a contradiction, really. How is the Duke Mordor? Do you have any idea how bad this would be? Of course I do. <laughs> I like it. Perhaps this is ridiculous. And you, you should know better. I mean, have you thought about this? This could be bad. Like, really, really bad. Sorry, have we met before? Let me introduce myself. I'm the bad angel. <laughs> you really are quite pathetic. That doesn't mean you have to be bad all oh, the time. It really does. It's in the job description. <laughs> Plus, I enjoy being bad. So you thought about this? Like, let's say, for example, yeah. you're the um, you're the. Uh, okay, this is gonna sound a bit weird, but let's just say you're the school bully. Okay. And this new kid starts, and he's bigger and fatter and just generally meaner than you. All right. So you're not the bully anymore. He is. Don't you see that if Faustus carries on with this, well, that's what's going to happen. The big bad bully's on his way, and you'll be, well, not so big and bad. Nah. You pretty bitch. You always have a <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> really? Please. Fine. Fine. I don't care. Fine. Fine. I'll make the spirits make me more desirable. Well, I'll be me. Show me more power. Ah! Valdi, Cornelius, come talk with me. We have a lot to discuss. Great to see you. Cornelius, it's good to see you, my friend. We should have called us sooner, John. It's been too long. Indeed, it has been. I've decided it's time. You are right. I want to learn more. You're great, Faustus. So Don't speak, Barney. Why would you always be so rude? Well, then we are guests. Come. Tell me more about the ways of the occult, Cornelius. Patience, Faustus. This is not to be rushed. It's not to be taken as a... Hobby. <laughs> you know me better than that, Cornelius. I don't have hobbies. I want to move quickly with this. I need this. I think it's a good idea. We've worked for years on this. Can you expect us just to pass it all over to you like that? Yes. Because in the years you've been practicing this art form, you've yet to gain any real distance. You know I'll move you forward. I'll complete your studies for you. You are talking of years of studies here, John. We've spent hours tirelessly on this, and you expect us to just Hand it over. Yes. This is exactly what I want from you. I don't know. You know I'll be successful. I want from you. I was asking you to like it, Valdez. Just accept it. That's it. Valdez, no, please. We will not going to take this that far. We will take this where we did go. Please trust me. The power you would have at your fingertips, John, would be immense. Control the elements, the people around you. The question is, John, how would you deal with it? What would you do with all that power? Well, I would deal with it better than you could. <laughs> how I choose to use the power is none of your concern. The fact that I will is far more important. I'll see you right, my friend. Right? Let's do this. Let's get started. So why are we waiting? <coughs> Show me now. Teach me. I want to feel the magic. See it. Taste it. We have got somewhere quiet. Somewhere we can be undisturbed. Bring you a copy of Psalms. New Testament. Let's just ignore the rest. We will teach you what we know, and then you're on your own. I have the desire to see this out. Want to push the basics? Won't be too long to prevent my own. I doubt that will be difficult. Come, gentlemen, join me for dinner. We can teach me these words and everything else I need to know. I will not sleep the night until I have come to the spirit, even if I die trying. Isn't that the tones of the lecturers? 
so, uh, uh, loving. Loving, yeah. What exactly does one mean by loving? Soothing, pleasant, you know, like a lullaby. A soft, monotonous, dull, See, and boring. Oh, no, 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 boring. <laughs> 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 You more trustworthy than I him, huh? Probably of the Lord of this one. I never said that either. Oh, oh you two weren't so stupid that you would ask these stupid <laughs> questions, and that way you would receive stupid answers. You see, I am pretty sure Faustus is a living man who can move about from place to place. And how do you honestly think I can tell you where he is when he might not be in the same place I saw him last night? What no! Now it's a lucky day because I'm a charm burger. A lot to annoy me, so as I just do it, I'm I will attempt to answer what I think you're trying to ask. The last I saw of Faustus was at dinner with Valdez and Cornelius, which is where this wine was supposed to be heading for you two idiots interrupted me. And although I'm telling you now it would not be wise to visit him this evening, I have no doubt you will show up somehow or another. And with this, I take my leave of your worship. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and preserve you. Sir! <laughs> Valdez and Cornelius are known to be satanic devil worshippers. Dear God. 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 And so it is time. To summon demons and devils, the sun has to be down and it has to be night. Now, <coughs> Faustus here is all for the drama. So, he waits until night. No, he waits until midnight, sorry. Uh, sets some candles. Again, not necessary, but you know, helps to set the scene. After all, this could be one of the most important nights of his life. Now, this bit always takes ages whenever people do it, so I'll give him time. It is his first time, after all. Don't want to mess it up now, do we? Savvy and quick. Thank 
Aquati, Terini Spiritus Salvete, Orientis Princeps Justi, Beelzebub, <coughs> Inferni Ardentis Monarca et Demogogo, Propitimus Vus Hu Apriat El Sogat, Mephistopheles, Quit Moralis, Hu Jehovah, Gehenam E Consecreta, Raquam Quam Nunc Spartu, Signumque, Custum Facio, E Favorte Nostra, Et Nunc Sargat, Nobis Dicatus Mephistopheles. Are you him? Answer me! I can't see you very well. Why are you standing in the shadow? <coughs> what are you? I can't look at you like that. Why don't you answer me? No! Make yourself more bearable, more human, or not be able to go! Queen Reddit, Mephistopheles. You called? And so eloquently done too, if I might add. You've obviously been practicing. And you're Mephistopheles. You're here to serve me, to bow to my command. Ah, yes, John. Although, I might have to nip off at some point. You see, I bagged myself a hot date with the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making fun of me? I am your master. Now you see, that's not quite true either, Faustus. I'm already employed. And it's not that I'm particularly happy in my current role. I mean, there are some great perks. Summers in hell are pretty special. Provided, of course, you don't mind the heat. <laughs> the other issue is that Lucy doesn't really like the idea of his employees job sharing, so. I'm afraid unless he tells me otherwise, it's just not going to happen. But did he not send you here? Oh, yes. Because he's all about making house visits to the little people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your tone. You came here because I summoned you. Now show some respect! No! <laughs> show some respect! You have some overwhelming power over us. I am here because <coughs> it is my duty, <coughs> part of the job description. You see, when we hear people bad mouthing God swearing against the Bible and Jesus, well, that's just too good an opportunity to miss. It's fairly easy to reap a man's soul when he's willing to give it. And I work on commission. I don't like the way you speak, and I don't appreciate your tone. I swore my allegiance to the Prince of Darkness, not to one of his paper boys. This is going to be my one and only meal. I don't want there to be any doubts or misconceptions about what you are about to do. You are headed straight for damnation, Dr. John Faustus, and if you continue on this path, there will be no turning back. Don't lecture me. Did you think I was some silly schoolboy playing around with something I didn't understand? So don't patronize me! Now, who do I need, who, who do, I need to talk to? This Lucifer right? who exactly is he? Lord Commander and Arch Regent of all spirits, so that one important, really. <laughs> he used to be an angel, and not just any angel, he was teacher's pet. God loved him more than the rest. So how did Mr. Goody Two-Shoes end up becoming Prince of Darkness? A little touch of pride, and a huge dollop of insolence. You see, God didn't take too kindly to that, so he threw the old boy out. Still, I suppose that's what happens when you put two egos the size of the earth in the same space. So what does that make you, then? I am one of the many unhappy spirits, unfortunate, un <laughs> unfortunate enough to be thrown out with him. Like our supporting against him and supporting Lucifer, so we are damned for all time. Where? Seriously? You've been calling on the spiritual landline hell! So how did you get out of hell? Out of hell! I'm not out of hell! This is hell! Imagine having it all, all the pleasures that heaven can offer, and trust me, that is a lot of pleasure. 
What do I have left? You really are pathetic. Wanting the joys of heaven so passionately when you had the power of hell on your side. You bore me, little spirit. Go tell Lucifer I will surrender my soul on this condition. I get 24 years to live without consequences, to indulge to my heart's content. And I want you added to the bargain, to be at my beck and call 24 seven. Take my offer to the mighty Lucifer. I'll wait for his response. As you wish. <laughs> oh, let the good times roll. And over a thousand souls have the power of Mephistopheles to make the difference. And so we waited. And what a heck of a wait it was. see any boys around here. I think you're fine. I'm all that. I need a servant and you are going to be it. Um, I don't think so. Oh, I know so. Oh, you sing. Okay, uh, you need to wash and a change of clothes, but I suppose you'll do. You look like you'd sell your soul for a sausage. No. Sell my soul for a sausage? No. Full of bread. Mate. I want none of this loaf fast. No, greasy bread and fire. Bacon and eggs and fried bread and hash browns and rather yes, sausages too. Yeah. Nice dog of ketchup and freshly brewed pot still. If I'm selling myself, then I want something worth it. Ah, so you will work for me. Um, tempting, but no. <laughs> no is not acceptable. Right, okay, sir, so I'm just going to walk away slowly and call the men in the white suits to take you away in a white van. Leaving is not an option. So let's say you do agree to work for me. I don't know. Uh, seven years. Well, I will set a thousand devils on you and they will tear you into tiny little pieces. Right, okay. Um, you really need help. I mean, professional help. <laughs> oh, wait! Perhaps these. It's definitely broken now. What are these? They're coins, it's the, yeah, these are shillings. They're worthless. Yes, but you have just accepted payment from me, so now you're employed by me. No, 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 that doesn't count. You take them back, oh, that doesn't What am I supposed to do with those? They're worthless. Okay, look, I tried to give them back, and now I'm leaving. Leave, and I'll set the devils on you! You really are ill. I'll tell you what, you send no these devils, day and morning. I'll just be... Just send them away, okay, send them away. Send them away! It's seven years! Fine, just get rid of them! Go! Be gone! One minute he's thinking about Lucifer and Thomas Power, and the next he's thinking about earning his soul back for God. And then he's back to the demo again. I mean, you should see some of the thoughts flying around in there. There's even some thoughts of sacrificing you for the baby. That's pretty darn twisted. I think we've made a lost them already. Not yet we haven't. I haven't given up. Why do I waver? What is the point of regret and repentance? Because they make you human, you idiot. Without them, you are nothing. This is God giving you a second chance. Without them, you are me, and I'm not so bad now, am I? 
Just imagine, man, John. Just think. That's all you have to do. Think. think of the power. No, no. Think of God. Why? Why should he be self-indulgent, self-absorbed, self-righteous? Whoa. 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 I will stand by my decision. When I have Mephistopheles by my side, it will be clear. I have made the right choice. No, Faustus, no, this is not He's right. Made decision. Veni. Veni, Mephistopheles. We have talked about this Latin crap, right? Just... So what did he say? Yes. He said yes, but you need to sign a little contract. A contract, hey? Tell me, why does he want my soul? Fills the spaces, makes him look more popular in his sky. Sola men misere socios hab What do you say? You say it is comfort to the wretched to have company in misery, and I'm only an orator. <laughs> so, do you agree to sign your soul over or not? There are other places I could be, Faustus. Is it? I mean, do you, uh, those of you who torture others in hell? Do you feel pain too? Yes. I realize that might not be what you wanted to hear, but yes, it is hell. We are damned. It's not Disneyland. <laughs> now, are you going to sign it over, Faustus? Yes, I will. I will. Then here is a knife. Knife. Why a knife? Because ink just doesn't cut it. <laughs> blood. <laughs> blood. Gotta be in blood. It's a devil thing. So where do I sign? Where are you going? As for you, Faustus. My blood, it's too thick, it's drying too fast. And so it is done. <laughs> I'm Faustus. What's this on my arm? Why is there writing on my arm? Why, oh man, block. Why is it there? Why is it on my arm? Why, oh man, block. Right to where? From what? Do not question too much, Faustus. There will be time enough to answer all. Until then. What's this all about? This? Well, this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Of the start of your power and wealth, of your damnation, of you, Faustus. The beginning of you. I like this beginning. I think we can have a bright future together, you and I, Mephistopheles. Here. Devil or not, I expect you to keep your word. If you break any of the agreements laid out here, the deal becomes <coughs> null and void. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. Though you needn't worry, I swear by hell and by Lucifer, you'll get all you deserve. And more than you want. Then take it. I have to. I, John here, Faustus, do hereby declare that blah, 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 technical talk. Okay, here we go. My conditions are as follows. That I become spirit-like in my appearance and my abilities as, as and when I please. I am protected from my consequences of my actions for the stated 24 years. And that Mephistopheles becomes my servant to bring me anything I desire and shall be invisible in my house unless instructed otherwise and shall appear in the form chosen by myself, John Fowler. Under these three conditions, passed for the stated 24 years, my soul and body uh, shall be wholly devoted to Lucifer on this you have my word and my blood as a spiritually binding oath. There you go, gentlemen. Oh, John. How did you die? Oh, 
done. Absolute bull. Oh, the tourists are going to die. And so it is, and so it was, and so it shall be. Why set it on fire? Let's call it the Devil Fax Machine, <coughs> with a direct line to hell. We'll understand once you're there. What's it like? Where is it? Oh. Hell. Oh, hell! Hell is nowhere and everywhere. It follows the damned, and as such, can't really be talked about. You can't type it in on Google Maps and spend your result alone. It's a state of being. Or not being, the case may be. Not a place as such. You can never give me a straight answer, can you? I don't believe this state of being actually exists. It's a myth. A dark fairy tale, nothing more. Well, I think it's probably best you go on thinking that then, Francis. There'll be time enough to prove otherwise when your soul is added to the list of the damned. Oh, I'm one of the damned, are I? I suppose I should be scared. I held in my hand only moments ago a deed that said exactly that. You just sold your soul to the devil! There's nothing after this life. It's all mythology. What am I if I am not what happens after death? I am the damned! I am in hell right now! Well, if this is hell, I have nothing to worry about. I could quite happily be damned here. I have all that I want here. All that is except a woman. Mephistopheles, give me a wife. Make her beautiful. Make her desirable. <laughs> a wife? All things you could ask for, you want a wife. Not a one night stand, not a girlfriend, you want a wife. Do you know how many men sell their souls to be free from marriage? <laughs> Just <laughs> do it. <laughs> As you wish. and make of it what you will. I have a whole library of books for you, Faustus. Robin! 
place. You need us in the garage. You got what's his car looking at? It says his pistons ain't pumping and his gear sharp ain't all in. Nancy told me to come find you. You should have asked him while I did. Um, right. His uh, pistons ain't pumping and his gear sharp needs all in. Oh, Nancy! <laughs> yeah, piss off, bro. What's with the book? You can't bloody read. Boss man says so. Yeah, well, boss man will soon find out I can read when his wife tells him naked around the fire. Around the fire? What the hell are you reading? Only the most powerful country book known to man. I don't read books. That's obvious, isn't it? How many Netflix books really, aren't they? I'll wait for the films to come out personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, bugger off. That's a bit harsh. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, go say to somebody else. Anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to hide? I wouldn't understand. I might do. <laughs> if I tell you, keep this between us, yeah? I promise. <laughs> I'm genuinely a child. <laughs> 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 it's a magic book. No! <laughs> yeah, you're right, it's not. No, but it is, isn't it? Great. Oh, bloody hell! Can you go judge making that book? Oh, of course I can. I can make your drunk of a fine beer in any bar in Europe without spending a penny. I think that's pretty good at anyhow. <laughs> what about this then? Nancy, the new girl in the show. I can make you take Nancy for a spin anytime you want. Oh, Nancy! I'm converting! <laughs> right. We need to go light a fire. What, in the showroom? Yeah. <laughs> why would we light a fire I in the showroom? I don't think that's a good idea. That's why we're not going to do it, right? No, I think it's... Hurry up, I'm not going Well, then someone could get hurt. Yes, yeah, someone would get hurt. That's why where I wonder what I'm doing. <coughs> the stars. If hell is so real, so is heaven. You have taken away my heaven. I can take only what you give. And besides, heaven isn't all that. You should make the most of your time here on earth. Why? Heaven is not where your head is, my friend. Well, repent and save my place there. Hallelujah. That's more like it. Your God will be so proud. He'll welcome you back with open arms. And open hands. Well, keep back us. God doesn't want you. If we do, if I repent, it will forgive you. But you're not going to repent. You've come too far. Bastard. All right. I've come too far. But I hear the whispers in my head. I am down. I thought of taking my life to save myself, but it would only speed up the process. I'll never be welcomed by God, and so I must accept my fate. My fate. I am talking like a fool. This is your doing. Have I not had fun and enjoyed pleasures that others can only dream of? I have time travelled. I have skipped around the world in seconds. And you want me to repent? No. I think not. That he will forgive you. Mephistopheles, who made the world? Don't ask me that. Why not? Answer me! You are bound to me and to answer all of my questions. Answer me! I can't. Nor would I go to the gate, Faustus. Your soul will be residing in hell for all eternity. Let's not upset the gate, man. So, what's got there? Tread carefully, Faustus. Maybe I should turn back to him. It would seem he is the more powerful. You silly little man! I don't believe it's too late. Return to hell, spirit. Leave me to repent. That's my boy. It's too late, Faust. It's far too late. What would God want with a used-up soul anyway? What would you know about God? Repent, and the devils will strip your skin layer by layer till there is nothing left of you. Repent, and you'll have God's protection. They can't touch you. Jesus Christ, I ask you to save my soul. Hmm. 
doesn't seem to be answering now. Yes. Ring, ring! <laughs> no, pretty <laughs> How are you? Take one guess. Him. One and oh. It's Lucifer. You come for my soul. I'm here, Dr. Faustus. Because I have found you to be very rude and most ungrateful. You pray for Jesus Christ! After you yourself promise not to. You look to the heavens when I'm the only one who's interested in your soul. I have given you everything. And what have I got in return? What? You... so difficult now, was it? Remember your place, Faustus, and we shall ensure your happiness here on earth. We've brought with us some little entertainment, a taster of what's on offer. Pour them in. Come to your work! Come down with a vengeance. I, sir, 
I am black. My parents were dead. The devil of Penny Bear left me but bare a pension. I'm rich as 30 mils a day. In 10 beds. Small trifles suffice in nature. I want to become a royal parentage. My grandfather was a gallon of bacon. My grandmother a goblet of claret wine. My godfathers were these. Things of people Harry. And Martin Martin was he. Oh, my godmother. She was a jolly gentle woman. Well loved in every good town and city. Her name was Mistress Marjorie Marshall Lear. And I was Alfred. That was her all my brother. Who that bring me to supper? I am soft. I was forgotten on a sunny bank where I have lain ever since. You have done me great injury to bring me from thence. Let me be carried thither again by gluttony and lechery. I must need another word for a king's ransom.
Okay, so Faustus did as he promised that he thought of nothing but the sense. He explored, played, felt, tasted, smelt, and indulged himself on the sense. He thought of nothing but them. With every experience, his addiction grew, like heroin injected into his veins. The desire for all things immoral coursed throughout his body. For years he travelled the world, finding his next fix, enjoying the power, and becoming bit by bit, well, less human really. But don't get me wrong, he did have some fun though. Take his visit to the Pope for example, now that was funny. <laughs> I'm Ephesopolis. The things I have seen with you by my side, the places, colours, textures, and now, where have you brought me now? You brought me to Rome. Still sharp as a but today, we are indeed in Rome. I thought you might like to take tea with the Pope. The Pope? Well, why not? It's St. Peter's feast, we all know you like a good party. Besides, I'm sure we'll bump into a friend of us in the army. Who? Well, I can't imagine gluttony would miss it for the world. <laughs> it sounds like it could be entertaining. Mephistopheles, make me invisible. Let us entertain ourselves with their expense. As you wish. And then, he said, that's why, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how, now we have a bit more good to your head I was wondering if I might ask you a slightly more personal question. Of course, I shall ask. I mean, it's actually the Scots that got me thinking. You know, due to the lack of uh, you know, undergarments under the, um, the kilt. And it begs the question. Excuse me. <laughs> I've always been curious. I, I didn't want you to repeat the question. It's more of an exclamation of disgust. Ah, okay. Apologies, Your Holiness. We should change the subject. Of course. I shall dine here, my lord. Eat away. Pardon? Eat your fill. Did you say something? No, no. The devil would not be happy otherwise. Rise. Who said that? There's no one here, Your Holiness. Right. Hold on. Try this bread. Fresh. And delicious. You know, bread always reminds me of quite breaking it. Wait, where did it go? How can it simply disappear? Friars, who took it? I do not know, Your Holiness. Oh. Then try this devil. Let me by the Cardinal of Florence. As you know, the Florentine is well known. Very nice place. it looks too. Again? Friars! Who took it and how? It was there, Your Holiness. We did not take it. <coughs> I, I must be feeling unwell. Not a bit of heroin. Why? Why will calm my mood? I will drink to your grace. It would be rude not to. Maybe it's a joke. Maybe some soul is trying to be. Then it's going the wrong way about it. Right! Right! Do not cross yourself. It doesn't protect you and quite simply annoys me. That is the second time. Don't make it a third. No. Cursed be he who struck his holiness. 
Brother DeKalb Dorman. Cursed be he who disturbeth our holy dirt. Brother DeKalb Dorman. Et omnes sancti. Amen. Amen. Even now in heaven there were angels in heaven and sent his way. Sleep well, eat better, and well. <laughs> yes, Robin, I'm actually going to count it. But the landlord's coming, the mind have got to pay for this. Robin? Supernatural powers. <laughs> Harvey, everything is okay. It's all being paid for. It's going on our way. Got some four gloves. I'm going to pay for that bottle first. What bottle? That bottle. I've got no bottle. <laughs> yes, you have. I saw it. Church me. Fine. <laughs> it's so it. Wait, that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> You should be ashamed of yourself, accusing an innocent man. Right, then you haven't. Of me? I have nothing. I deny all accusations. Well, he doesn't have it. And I don't have it. So you must have it. Back off. I'm cursing the name of Beelzebub. Wait, oh, get the bottle. Have you been smoking something? Oh, you really are a Wait, the oh, bottle. I'm in trouble. Thank to glory and pair of and harmonica up there. No, you can have the bottle. I don't need the bottle. Every day. So, back to Faustus. As we saw, 
Faust has travelled here, there, far, wide, and everywhere in between. And shall we say explored? Yeah, that sounds about right. His newfound friends, the Sins. He learned and questioned more than he'd ever been able to before. And he discovered and developed his skills in the dark arts. Now, because of Faust's need for all attention, all of the time, and to be the centre of all attention, all of the time, he grew famous. So much so that he was welcomed home by friends. Or acquaintances. They're more like colleagues, really, if you ask me. But friends or not, what did Faust was here? Friends were quickly replaced by more knowledge and understanding and more desperate, I mean, sorry, eager people who understood how really important he actually was. Friends or not, Faustus was recognised by all. If only they knew the price you had to pay, mate. If only they knew. Anyway, Faustus became so famous that he was even invited to dinner by Charles III. Now, even you've got to admit, that's pretty darn impressive. <laughs> it's a story, okay? Boy, Achieve whatever you desire. I am not a foolish man. I wish to see proof of this magic. I promise you will not be prosecuted for anything you show me here within these walls. Please indulge me, your majesty. I am duty bound to do as you wish. What would you have me do? I have often wondered why points are all so difficult. On my hands. Alexander the Great is he who I look like to see. I will need to come to the court. Will you or me? And bring the power of state, do we? No one seems to be lonely now, do we? <laughs> bring them before me. Let's prove the court. And I will make sure the entire world how powerful you are, how very powerful you are. <laughs> but their true forms would not be very fitting for your majesty to behold. Well, he's stalling, he got What dirt. I mean is, if their true forms are in the ground, nothing but dust and bone, would you not prefer that I bring them back in the forms of their glory days? That would be much more fitting, don't you think? If you're quite right, John. May I call you John? Some of them, John. Now! Do as you are commanded, Doctor. Be careful. For what? I neither believe that ability to do it, nor wish to watch you try. You be warned. Mephistopheles, go bring them before his majesty. As you wish. Take our leave. I'm not feeling particularly welcome. 
Now, I can tell what was asked of me, your highness. I shall take my leave. You shall not go on paying your condolences. Why? What are you going to do? I have it long before my payments is due, Mephistopheles. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. You're a good friend. But are you truly happy? If someone offered you the world, would you take it? John. I have a beautiful wife and a son on the way. What more could I want? I wouldn't change a thing. Nothing. If someone offered you ultimate power, but you must give up your wife. No, not at all. She is a wonderful woman, although we don't always agree. We are each other's support. I would not be without her. John, you need to give me out. I doubt that. You know, I really wish that you could settle down. Now be careful what you wish for. I'm sorry you couldn't partake in the drinking. I'm sure you must be very tired. I hear it can be tiring for women in your position. <laughs> I'm happy simply to be in the company of my loving husband. It must be lonely in this house. No apology needed, my friend. I find company when I want it. I will not be alone tonight. Such a big house and no one to fill it. A wonder you haven't set it down. You haven't anyone to laugh. Stop. I tried marriage once. It didn't suit me. It left me feeling suffocated. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it's difficult to love someone as much as you love yourself, Dr. Cassius. No! Let her speak. She entertains me. I am sorry, my darling. I will see you at home. I'm not a toy! I shall not be an amusement for you! Oh, but you will. I don't understand where this has come from. Faustus, we will leave. I'll be in touch soon. I apologize to my wife. We will not leave yet. I'm sure it's best that you do. I'm sure you will stay. We will not. I will not be alone tonight. Oh, you are without a doubt the most arrogant, egotistical, and handsome man I've ever met. Handsome? Tell me more. I find your intelligence to be exciting. What's wrong with you? Shall I examine her in a purely medical capacity, of course? I will be a very good I don't think that will be necessary. Depends. It has definitely been very Enough! You leave! Oh, what about gravy? What can I get for you? Anything at all? Now you know the measure of his. So, I will tell you everything. I would like chocolate. Chocolate, champagne, and milk. It's ridiculous! Is that all? Anything you want is yours. Mephistopheles! How are they? Do they please? Oh, what are you doing? They are delicious. I aim to please in whatever way I can. Come, my darling. Let us go inside. You simply must show your Faustus your appreciation. <laughs> and that I will. And be assured that for as long as I live, I will forever be your guest. So let us go inside. So, as Faustus plans to set, he signs everything he owns over to Wagner. Now, you'd expect a man about to be dragged to hell and tortured for all eternity to be a little bit sullen, or depressed, fearful, 
desperate even. But no, Fausta's here. He parties harder than he'd ever done before, and he shoves off his skills in the dark arts. But I'll do me thing. Crimes and evil things you committed make you stink. No amount of commiserations can save you now. What can I do? Pray to God, beg for the mercy, for Christ is the only one who can save you now. His blood and that alone can wash away your sin. What has happened to me? Where did I go so wrong? What have I done? I am damned, old man, and I deserve to be. I don't deserve forgiveness. Lucifer comes to claim his price. I will answer his cause. Do not worry. There is an angel who watches over you. He will soothe and comfort you. Not yet. Call for mercy. Thank you for your kindness, old man. You've given me a lot to think about. But I must be alone in my thoughts now. Please. I will leave. But I fear the worst. Choose your path carefully. I cannot find grace within myself, but I do repent. How can I escape my fate? I feel the battle being played out within my chest. Hell is winning, but I hope so much for grace to overcome. You traitor! You dare to disobey my Lord! You dare to go back on your word! I will tear you into tiny pieces! I will steal your skin! I'm there! Enough, 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 my friends, please! I will spill my blood as confirmation of the original contract. It is fear and that old man that pulled me away from Lucifer. I don't know what to do. I am afraid, Member Stop. Then distract yourself, thou spine solid evil. One, one that you can is your Ellen! I'm sure she can take my mind off these wanderings. Keep me otherwise engaged. The face that launched a thousand ships. Sweet Ellen. Faust to snap out of it. This is ridiculous. Stop it. I've asked nicely. Come here. I'm sick of playing your games. John, this isn't you. This is him. Make me immortal with a kiss. Oh. Oh. 
Faustus, you are better than this. John, please, don't do this. You suck the life out of me. Make me feel again, Helen. Give me my soul. So, this is it. Foolish man, fallen from grace and straight into hell. They come for him and they are hungry. I have tried and failed. Faustus, oh John. <laughs>
I have one hour. Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles! Say something! <laughs> Any time? No, don't speak. You've said enough. Did you really think this was ever going to end well, son? Did you ever think? You were such a proud man, so full of pride. But you begged me to come, you begged me to deliver, and I did. Don't look at me like that. What? You thought we were friends. You think I owe you something. I hate you! I hate you because it is people like you who give me my strength. I am and can only ever be. You want. And you all want too much. What do you want from me now, Faustus? You want me to save your soul? The truth is it was already lost, John. You lost it 24 years ago when you deemed it so worthless that you were willing to give it away. And I tried to save it back then. I warned you! I 
24 years, I have watched you live off the pain and discomfort of others. I have watched you take pleasure from overindulgence. I have watched you grow fat and ugly and grotesque. Oh, your appearance may not have changed much, bastards, but your soul has sat in a wasteland, and as you eat, it grows fat. As you kill, it feels remorse, and as you lie beside women, it feels the pangs of loneliness, and it knows that it can never be loved. And as you walk by people, it sees the fear and pity and disgust in the eyes that dart away from your gaze and hope you haven't noticed them. What do you think hell is, Faustus? You revisit those moments again and again. The genius of Lucifer, you see, is that he lets you keep your heart in hell. Oh, there's the physical pain, but the brutality of hell, the pain that crucifies you, that tears you apart, Faustus. It's the pain of all that. All that you've been protected from for the last 24 years. All that. At the same time, in every heartbeat, Faustus! Men. Children, they are beautiful, Faustus. They are God's perfect creation. So pure, so innocent. You are given a fucking map, John! He gave you emotions and feelings that guide you fear, guilt, remorse, and shame. Yet so many of you end up here with me. And somehow I'm the fucking bad guy! So this is it. Fritz, here's what it comes down to. I hear the clocks chime. Do you hear it? It's a dreadful sound. So clear, so strong, so determined. Unstoppable. What I wouldn't give to slow down this incessant death. Just a little more time. Time to repent. Time to save my soul. All I need is time.
So I'll see you in 24 years. <laughs> <laughs>